Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF and if you're new here please consider subscribing. And of course if you like the content seen in today's video then be sure to hit that like button and notification bell that way you will indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. Alright, there's nothing more festive than a superhero vigilante who was once an assassin and killed hundreds of innocent people, but hey, you win some, you lose a few hundred. But anyway, here is the Hellmark Marvel Studios Black Widow movie Black Widow Christmas Ornament. So this is obviously for the upcoming Black Widow movie. Looking pretty cool, you can see the Scarlett Johansson Black Widow there. And I love that they chose the uh, the more comic book accurate suit for this ornament because I noticed that a lot of the marketing has been putting forward the uh, the white suit. And I unfortunately don't think she's gonna be wearing the white suit that much in the film, but yeah, hey, you, may, you never know. Anyway, this is from Hellmark Cards. They produce a lot of awesome Christmas ornaments. But anyway, we're gonna get this unboxed and uh, we'll take a closer look at the ornament. All right, so here is the Hellmark Cards Black Widow Christmas Ornament, and it's not a bad ornament. You know, with the failure that was the Walmart exclusive Spider-Man from last year, I figured this would have been really terrible, but it's painted decently. Um, it's not perfect, obviously, because it is a smaller figure, so, you know, there's not a lot of space to work with, but hey, it definitely, it lives up to, you know, what you'd expect. Um, uh, the face sculpt doesn't look like Scarlett Johansson, but hey, I don't really think it needs to. I mean, what they've done, what they've seemed to have done here, is just kind of created a cartoonish look on the character. I mean, yes, this particular Black Widow is played by Scarlett Johansson, but I think in order to compensate for, you know, they can't really do that because it's a small surface, so they can't really make the likeness look look really good. I think what they've they've done instead is just created a cartoony looking face, which actually works for something like this. You can see all the intricate details in her suit, um, her her like big huge boots. You can see her like holsters, all of her gadgets and stuff. The back of her uh, yeah, there, there's a string that you can hang it from. You can see the back of her hair is all braided and everything like that. It looks really nice. You can see some of the paneling on her uh, on her um, her her suit. She's wearing. She has these batons that she's ready to smack you with if you're up to no good. But yeah, definitely it looks nice. And I like that what they did, but they kind of textured the hair. It looks really sloppy, but hey, it, it looks like they tried at least. That's all that matters. Of course, you got the gold gauntlets and belt. And it looks really nice. And you can see the zipper that goes up here and everything like that. Um, but yeah, it's not like a flat figure like, say, Spider-Man was. You can see the human figure that would be underneath this awesome suit that she has. It has so many different gadgets built into it and everything like that. I like the, the contrast between the gray and the black. Very accurate. Um, but I'm going to do some size comparisons between this Black Widow and, you know, another um, fan favorite from last year. So, with that being said, I'm going to uh, bring that decoration in here and we can compare the two. So here we have the brand new Black Widow Hellmark ornament for the upcoming movie next to the um, Hellmark Walmart exclusive Christmas Spider-Man from last year. Now obviously, you can, as I said when I initially reviewed this figure, poorly painted, it looks like his hand is literally melting into the present, scuffs everywhere, sloppily painted. You know, it's just a really sloppily painted, you know, figure. I mean, the sculpt is great, but they didn't deliver with great with great uh, paint jobs. This one is painted well. The sculpt is great, everything like that. So I think that Black Widow definitely beat Spider-Man's ass here. Um, and 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 they look great together, by the way. Like, I, I one thing I want to point out is that these guys look great together, as you can see there. I mean, they're both Marvel characters, so I'd imagine they'd look great together, but. You know, it, they're both spider-themed superheroes, Black Widow and Spider-Man. Anyway, let's let's continue on with the review at hand, shall we? 
So, I think this is a great ornament for any Black Widow fan. I do believe Hallmark has also released a classic Black Widow. Obviously, this is the version from the MCU. But I do believe, now, I may be mistaken, but I do believe Hallmark has released a classic Black Widow Christmas ornament. Um, and then they've also released kind of a chibi version of Black Widow as well. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's really nice. That shiny ass booty. But it's definitely a really nice ornament. It looks nice in the tree, and it just, it's just, it's a really nice, nice piece of Black Widow memorabilia to have. And with the upcoming movie, it seems like we're going to be getting a whole lot of memorabilia, so there's enough to go around, Black Widow fans. There's enough for your thirsty fanboys to go around. Definitely, it looks nice. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorite ornaments of this year. Um, but it doesn't really bring to mind that one Christmas image that's been floating around, that one Black Widow Christmas image that exists on the internet somewhere. I'll, I'll just show you what that looks like right now. Damn, she'd be looking fine though, standing there all seductive like, saying to herself, yeah, wouldn't you like to get under the mistletoe with me? But yeah, it doesn't really fit with this character. Um, when you think of Christmas, I don't really think of Black Widow. So that image, I don't know why it exists. Not to say that Black Widow wouldn't indulge in some Christmas festivities if she had the chance. It's just Black Widow being a secret agent and spy. You'd think that she'd be very busy. So she probably wouldn't have time for Christmas celebrations with how busy her job is and how demanding it is. But that's not to say that if she had the time granted that she wouldn't partake in some lovely Christmas festivities. Maybe be under the mistletoe with your boy. That's just wishful thinking. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this look at this awesome Christmas Black Widow Hallmark ornament. And with that being said, do take care and have a great night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do take care.